In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can set up Visual Studio Code as our favorite editor to develop Flutter application. In this one, we'll be covering installing extensions for Flutter and Dart in our Visual Code Studio. Then we'll see the commands that we'll be using. Primarily, we'll be focusing on Windows, so we'll be making use of Shift plus Control plus P, and this will allow us to create a new project. And before doing that, we'll be also setting up Flutter SDK path in our Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. So here I've opened Visual Studio Code and I'll be going to extensions and uh, here I'll need to search for Flutter and the first one that comes up in the results set Flutter support and debugger is the one that we need to install. Clicking on install will start the installation process and once done you'll get the notification over here and there we go we have installed it successfully. There's one more plugin that we need to do and that is for Dart language support which also you can click on reload to reload. It gets installed along with Flutter itself so just clicking on reload will do and here you can see inside enabled we have Dart and Flutter enabled. Now pressing the shift control and P will give us this command prompt and here if you type Flutter you'll see Flutter new project. If I go ahead and click on this, it will prompt me to locate the SDK. Let's click on locate SDK. And I have installed it inside course Flutter and then Flutter directory, Flutter, and we need to select the bin directory and that's all. Click on set Flutter SDK folder and uh, there you go. Now you can enter the name of the project for instance, it says hello world. So we can go ahead and do that. Hello world as the project and press enter to confirm. And here it will ask which is the folder where you want to create this project. So I'll be clicking it projects and inside that we'll be creating our first Flutter project. And uh, there you can see it has opened the project now. Hello world and it says dark code has been updated to version 2.21.1 and here it's working on flutter create hello world so all the output you can see over here now it is working on the dart extension 